Good morning. We're in block three, our petite Sarah. We're going to do a quick check in to see where we are from harvest. Last time we were here, we were pushing through Verasian. Uh, we are completely through Verasian as we speak. Uh, we're actually at the point to where we're probably about three to four weeks away from harvest. Uh, we started our sampling as of last week, and we're sitting at about 20 to 21 bricks, which basically is our sugar levels in our fruit. We prefer to pick our reds 25 to 26. So what I want to show you here, if we take a look at the seeds, when we look at ripeness, we want the seeds to be brown and very little pulp attached to it. So this fruit, not just by numbers, but just by pulp and the seeds, it's just not quite there. So we have more than just our numbers. And we'll be out here, we taste a lot of berries, more than we probably should, but we pick off flavor as well. So it's a well-rounded process. A little bit about our netting system here. We've installed it a little bit differently than a lot of vineyards. A lot of vineyards will actually take and lower the nets when they harvest. We're actually going to take and we're going to raise our lower wire above the fruiting zone so we don't have any contact with the harvester and nets. This will allow the nets not to get sticky and slimy. Uh, so it's just a little safer way, in my opinion, to uh, control our nets. Uh, our biggest issue this year has been Mother Nature. Mother Nature has not dealt us a very good hand this year. We've had rain on top of rain and rain. The biggest issue here is trying to control disease pressure because when you get a lot of rains, it requires a lot more spray, but also it limits how soon we can get into the vineyard. Uh, our vineyard tends to not drain the best in spots, so it can take us a little longer to get in. But as you can see, we've controlled the disease very nicely throughout the vineyard and waiting for harvest here in about two, three weeks. Exciting news, guys. We are gonna make our first ever estate red Cunois this year. We've always used this grape for our rosé, for our sparkling, but this year we are going to attempt to make our first ever red Cunois. It's gonna be very light. It's gonna have some spice, some strawberries, some plum. It's gonna have a very wide range of flavors depending on when it's picked.